I think that the thing that messes up cosmetology students and hairstyles in general is that we, we're missing key pieces and we're having to spend all this money in education afterwards mm -hmm. to, to be stable or have a long-term career. So that's important to me, just kind of giving back. I'm here to try it all, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, you mentioned, um, you know, why you wanted to do a cosmetology school or why that's kind of on your radar, at least. Mm -hmm. um, and there was something that you answered a little while back. I think it was one of the posts that I did um, asking about um, something with continuing education or business knowledge mm -hmm. or something like that. And I remember your answer was like, you know, that you got that type of training when you went to college do we need as hairstylists to consider going to college? You know, are there things that we're, we can, you know, really only truly get from that experience? Um, you know, the, the stereotype for hairstylists is that, you know, we're not very smart. We, you know, definitely weren't college material. That's why we did hair. If we could have okay. done anything else, we would have done something else. And that's like completely not true. And so many of the people that I've been interviewing, you know, some, you know, did it in high school, went right into hair, never went mm -hmm. to college. Um, but many of the people that I talked to have degrees. And yeah. so what are you, what's your kind of thought process with that? in the industry. Well, I will say that everybody's story and journey is different. Absolutely. And everybody doesn't have to go to college. I mean, even in the NBA, some people just go straight from high school to the NBA and they do amazing. I think that's Kobe. I think that's LeBron. Um, you know, we have a lot of great people in our industry who never went to college. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a case by case thing. But for me, um, the, the benefits that I receive from college are not only business sense, but just a really large network that I I don't think that I would have had a network in a way that you I don't have within other hairstylists. It's a different kind of thing, but mm -hmm. you know, in terms of like, I can on hand right now. I I have somebody that can do my website. I have somebody that can help me with finances. I have somebody that knows how to plan events. I have somebody that knows about project management. I, I know how to make a PowerPoint or I know about graphic design or a little bit about marketing. It's like all of these different types of classes that mm -hmm. I had to take or people that I worked with that kind of set me up um, to promote myself. And of course, mm -hmm. I can only take myself so far by myself, but that network of people that I have access to for life. Um, I'm in a sorority. Um, you do have to have a college degree to be in a sorority. Well, at least my sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. But I mean, I, I wouldn't trade my experience for the world. Um, I know some people do like an associate's degree and then go to cosmetology school. I know a lot of hairstylists that went to cosmetology school in high school and then have their own salon or maybe they're working in the field. But now they're going to college. And then growing up, the people that did my hair later went to college. And so... It does seem to be very beneficial. I just always tell people, don't pay for it if you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> no need to go and spend a $200,000 $200, on an education if you right. can go to your state school for free. Uh-huh, right. So, <laughs> that's yeah. the biggest part for me. 